It may only be spring, but the city of Paso Robles is already hard at work to put on this summer's 4th of July celebration. I spoke with event organizers to see what this year's event would look like and changes you might expect to see. Live music, local food, and a grand fireworks display are some of what make Paso Robles 4th of July celebration a fan favorite. But prepping for this day of summertime fun actually starts in the winter. In January, actually, because we're planning for 15 to 20,000 people. And to do that, um, the logistics are crazy. So we have to get security. We have to um, get all the vendors. We have to get all the, you know, all the equipment. Paso Robles Public Works Director and Event Coordinator Frida Berman said last year they saw around 10,000 people attend, but they expect a bigger turnout this year as the event continues to grow. It was a community tradition for a really, really long time, and then it um, stopped. And two years ago, the city brought it back along with Travel Paso, our partner in this event, to give as a gift to the community. This year, their entertainment lineup will feature a new band, Anthem Road, in addition to past performers, the Steven Stiles Band. Travel Paso President and CEO Stacy Jacob described one of their roles as an event sponsor. We look at what kinds of family activities, what kind of food vendors, um, what kind of experience do we want people to have. It's truly the gift that tourism can give back to the community of Paso Robles. Organizers are seeking additional sponsors to make this year's event a success. Local businesses and organizations that would like to help can reach out to the city for details. If there's a story in northern San Luis Obispo County you'd like me to cover, you can contact me by phone, email, or by scanning the QR code on your screen. In Paso Robles, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.